Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Shruti. And I'm Dre. And together we are Beauty and the Bear. So today we're watching Cowboy Bebop. <laughs> So today we're jumping back into Cowboy Bebop Season 1, Episode 10, Ganymede Elegy. Let's get right into it. Uh, hey. What's up, Einstein? smelling food? It's true. They got a little money now. Who is this? this? That looks like Zangief from Street Fighter. Hey! Jeez! Hey. Hey. Edward. <laughs> <laughs> He's so dramatic. <laughs> oh! What's he doing? Where's she? <laughs> oh my god. Oh man, that looks. Oh, lost love. Ooh, crack. Hey, Jed. Been around a while. I'm asking you how much longer before we land this damn thing. All right, hold on. I want my reward and nice crisp bills. You know what I'm saying? Hmm? Whoa, Jed. You haven't even gotten permission to land yet. Call the control tower for me, will you? Ganymede's your Facing home satellite, out. isn't it? You weren't thinking of some sweet thing from your past, were you? Someone who cried over you, huh? Or maybe it was somebody who made you cry. Didn't I just say you're obnoxious? Hello. <laughs> this is Ganymede Police regarding your... Huh? Top of your head's looking a little sparse, but other than that, same old dog. <laughs> a little sparse. Yeah, yeah, long time no see, bud. When did you get here? Haven't seen you in, what, seven years, maybe? I've got a family head to hand over to you boys. Verification number EX41285. Who Baker Oh, 800,000. So, you're a bounty hunter. The guy they call the black dog because once you got your teeth into something, you never let go of it. I figured you'd Wow. Because you were a vet way back then. Wow, wow. <laughs> <laughs> that explains it. What's that? Why we can't get along for five minutes. <laughs> now, let me think here. What was her name? Uh, yeah, Elisa. <sighs> Just open an old wound, buddy. Bar is cold, but fine. Since the, the end, kid, I hear she's got a lot of debts to pay off. Well, I'm sure it's not easy for a woman living alone trying to keep body and soul together. That was quite the summary. That. Talking to you are silent in a noisy way. If he thinks his old girlfriend's still carrying a torch for him, what would make you say that? You're that? kidding yourself if you think every woman's like you. Ooh. Duty calls three o'clock tea. <gasps> they are such hopeless romantics. What'd you put that stuff on for? Beautiful skin can only be maintained by tireless efforts, which are ultimately totally futile. Understand? <laughs> This is LaFay, right? Yeah. Who are you? Mm. An old friend Question. of Elisa's. What? <laughs> what a shock. Is it really you? <sighs> Brent, he is my guest. Oh, because of all the people she owes money to. Right. You don't mind? No. So, how about it? Mm, gonna be an interesting conversation. Mm -hmm. You're my last customer. Where is he off to? Hmm? I'm closing shop. You get in over your head. Don't worry, I'm here with rent. It's okay. That was interesting. That guy that was here. You've heard we're married. We have three kids, Jed. Oh. <laughs> kidding, just kidding. Okay. And uh, how about you? You must be married. No, just wandering around with some weirdos. And on top of that, I'm a bounty hunter. You have a bounty on her? Boat. That's the watch she left. Are 
Because her boyfriend has a bomb. Where's Jeff? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. What is going on? Salonius. <gasps> he does have it. Last night he had a run in with a money guy named Law Rentsuo. Yeah, and? That's why he's so nervous. Rent is Elisa's main squeeze. I thought you boys would want to know. Is he on a screen? 1.8, yeah. Double what they just got. Well, more than that, actually. Oh my gosh. Watch how glutch her glisten. Jesus smell Christ. Like, uh, creamer. Get her some butter. <laughs> You're gonna have uh timelines around your face. Mm, around her eyes, that's right. Oh, is he tracking? Back then, when I got home from work, you were always there waiting for me. But on that day, the only thing there was that pocket watch. That and a small piece of paper that had just one word written across it, farewell. After six months, I made a kind of bet with myself that I would leave this planet and start a new life. Wow. You didn't return by the time the watch stopped. Wow, that's so sentimental. Stand still. I've got to go. Bye, Jet. They're punning the shit out of this conversation. Why would she abandon him like that's that? True, true. And the thing is, he was a cop back then. We found oh, out, oh. so he had a reason to. She had a reason to leave if it she was, was going against law enforcement. She couldn't be with a cop. Is that him as a young man, or is no, that him today? He's replaying everything that happened last night. But it looked like for a place called Lafan. Over there. Lafan. Bruh. What? What are you doing? Blocking traffic, bruh. Whoa, what was that? Oh, okay. A bounty hunter? I thought you were closing up shop today. Wasn't it kind of all over anyway? It's because I borrowed money from a crook like him. That's why she's in all that debt. I never let you get mixed up in this. I killed him. Let's go. We've got to run right now. Oh, that's a dope looking boat. So Spike just missed him. He saw it. Get in el barco. Get in el barco. <laughs> it looks like all my good karma is finally paying off. Sorry, but this is business. Bro. Bro, let one of them bullets hit that woman. You and Jen will never talk again. She left a hole in me and now you put one in her? That ain't right. Wow. Talk about ascension, boy. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh. There's a bounty on this guy? Yeah. Inside info from your pal Donnelly. Bro. I'm the black dog, and when I bite, I don't let go. Damn right. I have no regrets about her, but I'll settle this score on my own turf. Little switch up from Spike doing all the leg work, you know what I'm saying? I like this. Listen carefully. Cut your engines now. Pursuing them, that's crazy. No, no. 
no, she no, might kill herself she'll, or she'll him. She'll shoot at the, the rope. Got away again. I guess not. Wow. Ooh. How dare you even raise a gun at me? Leave us alone, please. You already put a hole in him. You couldn't possibly hurt him more with that gun. If I let him go now, someone else will be after him tomorrow. And by then, you'll be an accomplice. Stay away! <laughs> Maybe she has a nine clip. That's just how you were back then. When I was there with you, I never had to do anything for myself. All I had to do was to hang on to your arm like a child without a care in the world. Oh, oh no! Let go! Stop! I don't want to go to prison! Please help me! You gotta... Oh! 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 You'll survive this. I think you'll get off with a self-defense plea. Nice. Okay. I don't think you'll be waiting very long. Because time never stands still. You know? <laughs> Fear of the unknown, you know. That was the that was a great, a great, a great, a great wow. backstory. I loved the whole that the, the episode focused on Jet completely, and I loved the fact that we got to see him in his, his element, not just behind the keyboard or behind the controls. Do you know what I'm saying? Right. He used to be a cop, and like that pursuit was like what was crazy about that pursuit was. They're going down canals that are actually made for a boat, made for a speedboat, made for a, a um, you know, a, um, made for a, a vehicle on water. And he's just calmly cruising their side, I, I, like at a 180 degree angle, cruising through calm as ever. And the thing is, it used to be his beat. So he probably knows it like the back of his hand. But right. just to see him just watching the guy who's actually in the who's actually suited who has the vehicle suited for the struggle for the terrain you're on right now yeah. and this guy just bruh just just it's over it's like man i like the explanation of how he felt when he came home he's like you were always there for me and that's all i ever needed you know what i'm saying more than the food you fed me, I just needed you to be at home. And that's what made it a home, regardless of these four walls and this roof. And then when you weren't there, he's like, I wasn't even broken up. I just, it was unbelievable. You know what I'm saying? That you were no longer in my life. And then he's like, yo, just slowly by slowly, I, I was forced to believe it. A terror never seen before has assaulted the beaver. <laughs> Caught by the venomous fangs of the unseen enemy. <laughs> A symphony of shivers that will send you into the deepest trenches of terror. Once the chill oh. is set, you will no longer be able to escape. Wow. What an ominous. Something. What an ominous Einstein. foreshadowing. Yeah. You see, how the, man, that's crazy. And when he was when he was strapping up there, to be honest, the first thing I thought of was like he looks like the his belt looked like the kind of uh, Ghostbusters. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> that's exactly. And I'm like, what? Is, they can't be talking about ghosts and cowboy bebop, but who knows? I who mean, knows? why not? Why not? But that story, what? How beautiful was that? And the thing is, so how did you feel about like what Elisa said, like as her justification for getting away from him? What does she? So from it what was, I understood, I think it was selfish. I mean, you could have, you could have had a talk with him and be like, yo, I want to explore different things in life and blah, blah, blah. You could have had a sit down. You know, you didn't, you didn't have to walk away from it. Like, and with one letter, farewell. Farewell, bro. I don't know who you were in the past, but like he could, he wanted a housewife and you wanted to be alpha woman. Maybe not alpha woman, but just you wanted to do more. And... I don't see why those, those just, why those were mutually exclusive, right, you know, like exactly. You could have done something on on your own time while he was at work, you know. 
Because the thing is, the thing that was confusing to me was that, like, she she was saying she she never had to do anything. Right. It doesn't mean she couldn't do anything. She never had to do anything except be on his arm. You know what I'm saying? And obviously, he's a pillar in the community. So it's like, hey, you're the cop's, uh, you know, the cop's Maybe wife and so on and so and forth. Stuff, you know? But the thing is, I mean, regardless of that, what I'm saying is, like, like she never had to do, she never had to do anything. Doesn't mean she wasn't capable of anything. But the thing, the fact of the matter is that you felt you had to leave him to succeed in life. And oh no, not 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 that. When she said that, like she wanted to make her own decisions and live her own life, even if she made terrible mistakes, it kind of sounds like a teenager exploring themselves. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like that was that was interesting that she said it like that, and that she had she had to literally outright leave him completely me i thought what would have made sense or what i mentioned earlier was like she had like taking like because she wanted to live on her own she took it out a loan for, to start her bakery or shop or whatever it was and then she i mean she took it from a loan shark and she's like yo i don't want this guy to get mixed up in my business so i have to leave him completely so that if they come to mow down my family after i can't pay off the money then jet is uh is not implicated in it that's what i thought mm. The fact that she literally just had to walk away was kind of really sad. It's 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 pretty selfish. Yeah, here you have a man who loves you and takes care of, care of you, and you just walked away with no explanation. You know, like at least give him an explanation. You, you guys could have worked on it together. You know, like and after all these years, relationships are about compromise. Without any explanation, after all these years, he gets the explanation, and it's only because he's mentally sound that it even that it even appeased him. Because right. it may, if I was him, I would be more upset when I heard that shit. For sure, for sure. Oh, you You're telling you me just wanted some space? Like, come on, bro, that's crazy. That was wild. That was wild. That was another wild. That was another that was a wild scenario, but it was a it was a beautiful episode of Cowboy Bebop, and I can't wait to get on to the next one. So thank y'all for joining us for this latest episode of Cowboy Bebop. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to like the video. Let us know what you thought about the episode down in the comments and be sure to go over to our Patreon and check out our full length uncut reaction or stop by simply to support our channel. I'm sure you and I'm Drake for Beauty and the Beard. We're signing off until the next one. Peace.